morning, Silicon Valley executives from Facebook, Twitter, also Google on Capitol Hill tomorrow. They're going to face questions about their efforts to stop foreign interference on their sites ahead of the midterms and also how to police content on their sites. Melissa Armo of StockSwoosh.com joins us now. Good, Good morning, morning, Melissa. Good morning. How are you? I'm all right. You know, I got to ask you, do you expect these hearings to be productive? I don't expect these hearings to be productive, and mainly because Congress really has a difficult time understanding what these social media sites do. You can tell that from previously back earlier in the year in April when Facebook testified. So as far as what's going to come out of this, it's very difficult for any of these sites to really police the content. You had four interference in the last election, and now we have the midterms coming up in a few months, and who knows? I really think it's very difficult for them to try to police the content. And then, you know, it goes back to the co conversation about censorship. Should they be policing certain things or should they not? Well, they are speech platforms. I think everybody can agree that social media sites are a platform for which different points of views are, uh, are shared. So. We have to understand that in a different way these days, and it's going to be difficult for the executives of Twitter and Facebook. Google's not sending uh, their CEO, but, you know, it's going to be difficult for them, Melissa, to, to prove that they're A, innocent, or, or B, A, political here. Well, well they're, they're, not. they're definitely not. They're definitely not. I mean, they do police the content on there, but that's what I'm saying. I don't think there's any way to stop that. I don't think Congress is going to be able to stop that. They can yeah. have the hearings. They can answer the, ask them the questions. But you got to remember, one of the reasons Facebook stock did so well up until this year, I don't like the stock yeah. the way it looks right now. One of the reasons is they, they make money. People put ads on there. They make money this way through advertising, and they've done a good job with that. Twitter has not done that great of a job with it. Google has because of YouTube. Remember? Google owns YouTube. So they've right. been able to collect this, and that's why the stocks have those two stocks, Google and Facebook, have done a lot better than Twitter. Aside from this issue, the tech stocks are a big reason the market is up. And you know what? The NASDAQ for the month of August was up almost 6%, right? But you say there are outside of technology a lot of tech stocks and a lot of stocks in general that you like. What are they? I definitely think the market's higher. We're up this morning. I'm not surprised at all about that because we closed so strong on Friday. Expect that this could be a bullish week in the market. We'll have to see when employment numbers are out Friday. But I will tell you, there's other reasons why the market looks higher. The market looks higher because you've got retail finally performing. Target, Walmart, they had great earnings in the last month. And that was very unexpected because it's very early in the year. Usually those stocks don't perform until the last quarter of the year when you have the holiday shopping season. And also yeah. the banks are starting to turn around. J.P. Morgan Chase looks really good. So finally, you're getting the financials participating. Once you get all the financials participating, Goldman, J.P. Morgan, Chase, City back up in full-on uptrends and breaking new highs, you're going to see a strong close, I think, until the end of 2018 for the overall market. All right, Melissa Armo, thank you very much. Thanks. Well, NBC